So today I am going to be doing the Magic Spell palette from UKMB and I'm going to do three looks with it and then tell you what I think of it afterwards. I have actually done a look with this before. I did a collab with Cat Blue which I will stick up in the cards so you can see what I did there with it. That was my first go with it. So um, I'm going to do three looks and tell you what I think about this colour scheme. And um, I think it was a dupe for one of the lime cream ones. I think in my last video I said it was three, but I think it was two. I should look that up, <laughs> but I haven't. Because <laughs> I don't really care whether it's a dupe or not. I just want to play with this particular palette and the colour scheme. So let's get into look one. So, look one with the Magic Spell palette. I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do kind of a pink halo eye because it's going to be a fairly natural kind of look today. So I'm going to go in with this one here. Phantasmal. It's a very strange name. Going with Bewitchment. and then a little bit of wizardry in the middle. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. Here is my final look. So we're going out to play mini golf today. So I don't want anything too crazy. <laughs> and it's just a nice soft glam look, I think. So we're up to look two with the Magic Spell palette. Today I'm going to go into some of these kind of brownie shimmers, but that's not what I'm going to start off with. So I'm going to start off with, I think I'm going to start off with this one and this one, so I'm going to mix them together a bit.
for that. And I'm going to use my Master Drama Maybelline pencil in bronzy goods under my eyes. like the shade of this pencil it's like a sparkly warm bronze but um, I haven't seen it again since I bought it so I have a feeling once it's gone I'm not going to be able to get it unless I get it online if they can still make it so I'm going to go in with Dispel because that's basically the same colour and then I'm going to go in with Chant I'm gonna tighten line and do my mascara. So, look three, I am going to use some of my e.l.f. Line and Define Eye Tape. I'll try and put these on evenly. Do they look even? I can't. <laughs> it's as even as they're going to get anyway. I'll do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. I think they're going to be good at the moment. <laughs> so this is where I'm at. And I think I want to put a brighter green liner on the bottom. So I'm going to go in with Limelight, the LA Girl Glide On Liner. And then I'm going to go into Wizard Creek and do the inner corner. So, what are my thoughts on the Magic Spell Palette by Candy? It is here. I'm kind of on the fence about this one because um, I did some nice looks with it and the mattes and the shimmers work well. I think I need I you need to use a glitter glue with the shimmers to make them stick properly, but these the normal shimmers seem to be fine. These ones here seem to work fine. 
that they're not hugely pigmented. I think there's some different formulas with the greens and the greens. I just wanted something more and it wasn't there. I think it was the colour wasn't bright enough. As I said, I think I, I'm on the fence about it and I haven't quite formulated my thoughts very well. I feel like I need to move my camera over a bit so you can see what. So I'll insert a little clip here so you can see what I meant with the greens. This is look three that I'm wearing now, but I've just added a couple of things in. So um, from when you saw it, at the end of look three, it has changed a little bit. And I've just put in some of the Super Shop pressed pigment in Fizz because I just wanted that extra pop of green in there. So I stuck that in the middle and I leave it down there. And I put a little bit on my lips and then went over it with the Classy Cake Cosmetics gloss in the gold one. And um, this is what I mean um, about this palette, is that it, um, it's an interesting palette, but I found it a bit limiting. I wanted some of those greens to be a bit brighter and more impactful because they were all, they were all quite muted, and I wanted just a little bit more oomph in it. So by adding this green in, I got the look that I was going for. It was pretty before, but it just wasn't quite enough. <laughs> So I'm on the fence about this one. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Lime Crime Venus 2. I think in my first impressions I said I thought it was 3, but it's not 3. And um, I don't know how the formula stands up to that one, but I'm very glad that I didn't spend lots of money on this palette because I'm kind of on the fence. It's it's unique in some ways to my collection. I don't have very many of these greens, but the greens just, it, it just didn't quite do it for me where the, I just wanted something brighter and it wasn't there. <laughs> so I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I made some nice looks, but I, I don't know whether, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this one. I found um, with these, especially these kind of shimmers. At the end of the day, I had little shimmer specks fall out all over my face because it's the type of formula it is, even though I used glitter glue. And um, I could get all the colours to work well, but I had to build them up quite a lot. And so I think I've got better palettes in my collection, but it's not the worst either. It, oh. I'm very indecisive about this palette. <laughs> so, um, those are my final thoughts for what it's worth. <laughs> and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!